I'm back. It's a new year. I got a new calendar right over there, Mary. We'll talk about that in a minute. New software. We'll talk about that a little bit too. Uh, but first, I think I want to talk about that um, terrifying video I just put up. So what I'd like to do is have a special bonus video this Sunday. So very exciting. Not just one, but Two, two videos this week. Going to be huge. We talk about some of the things in that last video, I think. Why do these look so crooked to me? Look at that. They look so crooked to me. Fucking this. It's going to be hard putting up two videos, but I kind of don't want to leave that one alone for a week. You know, a lot of things have sort of run their course. A lot of the things that were causing me a great deal of anxiety. The raise, that was a bit petty. You know, if I would apologize for anything, maybe it's that nonsense about the raise. I mean, someone who makes a good salary like me, um, being so annoyed and angry about not making more money, it's a little petty. I could, I'll apologize for that. Let's, let's apologize for that right now. Also, when the raise depends upon someone retiring, I mean, for me to sit in resentment because someone is not ready to retire is a little bit... Uh, selfish a little bit, maybe. Maybe that's a bit selfish. I think the problem is if I don't like her, it'd be easier if, for me if I liked her. But we, I can't. I don't feel comfortable. She, she's not a, a warm person. I've been watching a great program on Netflix. I'm getting to something called The Crown. And in one of the episodes, uh, the actress who plays the young uh, Queen Elizabeth said. I'm just one of those people who look very cross when I don't smile. That's a little bit what it's like. She doesn't smile. It's very off-putting. She's not someone you want to approach. And uh, because when you approach, she turns around and she looks at you like this. So you feel like you're already in trouble and you haven't even opened your mouth. How do you say, so you are you retiring, bitch, so I can have your job? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so having a little bit more information about his plans for the future would be very helpful f uh, for me, but I, I just don't know how to uh, broach that subject to someone whose uh, only facial expression is... You'll turn into a pillar of salt if you look at that too long. You, you'll go blind. You'll go hysterically blind. Yeah, I had to take half a day off one day because I looked at her too long. And I started bumping into things. So very, very cold. So now it's up to me to mind my own fucking business. Let her do what she needs to do. Uh, and uh, live within my means, which has been a big uh, struggle, but a very important, productive challenge for me. I could not watch President Obama's farewell speech. I could not watch the First Lady's farewell speech because I knew I'd be inconsolable. Uh, I've had eight years now of feeling relatively safe in the world. I've had eight years now of uh, having a little bit more trust in the United States of America. So I just came to a place where it was just too upsetting to have to watch my favorite president leave. So the other night I, I ended up doing a little bit of grieving. I have to fix my eyebrows. Very good, much better. I ended up watching a part of the ceremony where uh, President Obama presented Vice President Joe Biden with uh, the Medal of Fantastic. I forget what the medal is. Medal of Freedom? Is that correct? One of the most beautiful speeches I've ever seen, and I had to have a good cry for about 10 minutes. A very solid, very heavy crying. Very. 
Anyway, I had my good cry. Maybe that's me breathing my loss, our, lo our the whole world. And Christmas. One of my sisters, I gotta tell you, I have three sisters, I have three sisters. Two of them really, um, oh, what we like to say nowadays, we like to say low maintenance. Wonderful, low maintenance sisters. I, I find them just very easy to get along with. Uh, we agree on most things. I suppose not everything, but most things I think we agree on. There is a third sister. Well, I love very much. I want that out there. Sister number three is uh, someone who I find very challenging. She has a very challenging personality, a very loving person, uh, a very generous person in many ways, but exceedingly challenging. Uh, very demanding of other people, very high expectations. And... Um, a kind of a disposition that's that's difficult to um she's a bitch, i'm sorry that's why i was kind of dreading uh, christmas so i went home and i had a really nice time and the, the third sister the difficult one she really you know turned out to be a joy to be around and so I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased about how Christmas went this year because as the other video attests to, I was, I was dreading it. I was dreading it. We had a wonderful time with the family. So 2017, 2017, I'm not sure what to expect. I want to think about uh, new videos, new format, maybe some writing. Maybe there's some writing to do. Uh, take another stab at trying to see if kind of thing I'm doing is going to appeal to a larger audience uh, because I guess you know if I'm honest that's important to me that's important to me and I don't think I'm going to apologize for that anymore Mary my Maris if anyone watched the old phrase you know what I mean so for Mary my own Maris the Maris of this channel we have a calendar for 2017 I'm afraid it's not as swanky as the that's the Spain calendar, but still very exciting because every month, every month we get a new picture from uh, the city of Ottawa. We get a new picture from the city of Ottawa. And for international viewers, that's the capital of Canada and that's the city I grew up in, and as, as did Mary. So this, this could be exciting for us. Maybe not as exotic as Spain, but something we can relate to me and Mary and something we can share with our international friends. Fucking international. Fucking in I found a couple in Australia, sure. A couple of news. Come on. I think there's some Russians that <laughs> I had some Russians drop by, hip top up my computer to the DNC. Maybe. January is Ottawa Conference and Event Center during holiday season. Canada is a bilingual country, so we have to read the French. Centre de commerce et d'événements. All right, so we're going to put that back. Um, should I do my first porno? 2017? Oh, oh. That's not as bad as it was. Maybe I've lost a little weight for 2017. Unable to eat, thinking about Trump blowing up the world. Unable to eat. Lost a little weight, that's okay. <coughs> I can't say Trump without <coughs> it's part of the Trump voice. Trump. Here's the hardest thing to say. Ready? It's the hardest part. Try this, try this out. <sighs> President elect Donald Trump. <laughs> <coughs> In just a couple of weeks, it's going to be okay.